Hello everyone, I'm Tom from Time in Pixels and today I'm going to show you how to improve performance of DaVinci Resolve when using heavy OpenFX plugins. Actually right now I'm on uh, my MacBook Pro just to show you that uh, even though the performance of this machine is not very great you can still use uh, DaVinci Resolve and, and color grade or at least do a quick grade uh, even with with some OpenFX plugins. Uh, so here we are in uh, Resolve 12. We've got a clip here that I shot on uh, the airport. Uh, so let's just do the quick grade for some initial look and we're gonna move on to some heavy OpenFX plugins and we're gonna see how we can improve the performance and how we can get the real-time playback. Okay, so this this was a Magic Lantern RAW. We can adjust our camera settings here. Let's use full resolution to see what we can achieve with full resolution quality uh, on this MacBook Pro. Uh, let's change the color temperature. Uh, this looks a bit cold. Let's increase uh, the warmth. Maybe remove a little bit of green cast. Uh, we can increase this exposure here as well. And we can lower the lift because we don't really have a black color here. Okay, looks much better already. Uh, okay, so let's change it to BMD Film, Hyla Recovery, and let's apply some 3D LUT. Uh, it's log. M31, okay, looks really nice. Uh, let's increase the exposure a little bit. Not as much. Okay, we can recover some shadows. And we can decrease some of the highlights. Um, increase the temperature a bit. Okay, it's pretty nice. Okay, now. Uh, let's say it's a very noisy image. Uh, it's not really very noisy, but let's assume it is noisy and we want to use Neat Video uh, Denoiser plugin. Uh, let's create another serial node and let's drop reduce noise on this node. Okay. Let's open the plugin settings and let's create auto profile and auto fine tune. Okay, we can create another one with a little bit of sharpening. Let's move the slider down to 0.46 and let's see the actual size. Okay, we can see before and after. The noise is gone but uh, let's uh, let's try to play it back. Okay, one, two frames per second. We can see it over here. The red dot meaning that there is no uh, real-time playback and the number is the actual number of frames per second. This is uh, not very nice and working like that further it's not very convenient. So what we can do about that is we can use caching, okay? So let's try to do that. Select playback, render cache, user. And then uh, let's just select the node with uh, OpenFX uh, Neat Video plugin. Right click, node cache, on. Okay, we can see this red line on top of the timeline and this blue color growing a little bit. It's just the progress bar telling us how much of, of the clip is already cached. So as soon as it goes all the way up here, it means that it's fully cached. Okay, while it's it's doing its thing, let's let's try to play it back from the very beginning where it's already cached from here. Yeah, it's green and it's playing back smoothly. Okay, let's wait until it's finished. Okay, so the whole clip is cached right now. Uh, we can play it back again and we can see that we've got a real-time playback. Great! What if now we want to change the LUT to something else? It's on the first note. Let's select 3D LUT. 
and for example vision 6 okay the look is changed but the cache is gone and this is pretty annoying if we want to try different things out uh, and at some point we want to change the node each time the cache will break why each time we change something before the cache this means that the cache will need to be rebuilt when anything changes before that this doesn't apply to the nodes after that but it applies to all the nodes before we can see that we have uh, we have some of the clip cache already if we're going to change uh, it to something else again boom we have to cache from the very beginning so let's try to do something differently let's remove the connections and change the order of the nodes so the noise reduction is in the first node and everything else is after that okay so the first node has applied reduced noise the need video plugin the second one is the lot and the third one is a bit of sharpening uh, okay so let's wait a bit until we've got some of the clip cached okay and again if we start to play it back from the beginning you can see it's smooth 25 frames per second and now if we change the second note if we apply different LUT again bam the look is changed but the cache is still there we can still play it back 25 frames per second let's say we want to change the third note we want to make it a bit warmer bam the cache is still intact 25 frames per second we can even try another OpenFX plugin here it's film convert uh, 5d mark 3 black uh, magic lantern raw bmd okay let's remove a lot uh, let's decrease the exposure a bit and change for example to this one no grain okay a little bit of contrast okay you get the idea it's not necessarily what I wanted to achieve but uh, the cache is still intact if we play it back it's 12 frames per second and this is because we added another OpenFX plugin and it's slowing down but remember and uh, the OpenFX noise reduction was actually playing back at 1 or 2 frames per second so again we can do the same thing here we can uh, use the note cache on the film convert and continue all the adjustments right after it. it it will be stored over here and we can build on top of that uh, it's a very nice technique uh, if we have something CPU GPU heavy just put in front enable user cache and wait a bit and you can work smoothly okay that's all for today if you like the video please subscribe please follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page everything at time in pixels uh, more tutorials very very soon and see you next time